And good evening, everyone. We're here outside of the Russian Cultural Center. You'll see some of it at least here uh, on Tunnel Road, a road in Washington, D.C. It's a lovely, lovely uh, late summer evening. It's the Postern Gate, and here in front of me is the little display of uniforms from the Great Fatherland War, World War One, um, as it is known in the West. Uh, we're here tonight to see the screening of Battalion, a movie about a special regiment of women that fought in the Russian Imperial military during uh, during World War One. As you can see by the poster over there, there were some more posters uh, inside that I will. Uh, it will be difficult to show them to you right now because the lighting is pretty dim and there's very many people inside. I'll sort of give you a glimpse. Um, this is your cordial reporter Nabor Shamalish for RT America, um, giving you sort of a behind-the-scenes glimpse into this U.S. premiere of Battalion. And um, I have a gentleman here with me who's one of the uh, students eager to uh, see the movie. There's, there's actually quite a, quite a few people inside uh, the cultural center. Very, uh, very loud and boisterous inside. Um, let me uh, introduce him here. Uh, okay, uh, let's get this position properly. All right. Uh, can you tell us your name, sir? Uh, that would be Vanny Duran Gamero. Uh, hi. Um, what brings you here tonight? I was invited by a friend uh, to see this screening, and I was very excited because I've never been here before. Uh, I am from the D.C. area, and I've never been here, so it's a beautiful place to be, and I'm very excited to see this screening. Have you seen any Russian movies before? I have not, so I'm very excited. This will be my first one, and it looks very interesting. So, no, experience, no previous experience with Russian or Soviet cinema? And no, I do not. So, wh why tonight? Invitation by a friend, and that's it? Invitation by a friend, accompany them, but... Uh, I'm just very interested in learning about the culture and just uh, I'm pretty sure this very brave woman who contrib contributed a lot to the uh, to the army. Interesting. So in the light of, um, I mean, there's there's a lot of American students here tonight. Um, you've, you've seen them as well as I have. Uh, in light of the current tensions between the U.S. and Russia and the current political situation in the world, do you think cultural exchange would be a good um, way of bridging some of these differences? Yes, of course, and especially with the younger generation. I do see a lot of people inside. You are getting this very behind-the-scenes look, and it's beautiful inside because there are so many students, there are so many uh, people from the older generation, people who don't really even speak English, but it's very interesting to see the communication uh, skills that you know we are both able to communicate effectively, and it's almost like a neutral ground. It's, it's very much a very nice evening. So a cultural exchange might actually bring people together, huh? Yes, definitely. Uh, what are your thoughts of, of your first time here tonight? I mean, what, what did you expect? Is this some? Um, does it meet your expectations? Is it different? Uh, well, the uh, food is very good, beautiful uh, embassy here, and very excited to meet more people here. All right. Well, thank you very much for being with us. No problem at all. So, folks, uh, that was uh, one of the many people who are inside. I'll try to sort of bring you the view. Uh, you can see the hall and the reception hall the people are still queuing up for refreshments over on uh, over on the side there and uh, there's more refreshments upstairs uh, we've got more people coming in um, and uh, let me show you once again the costumes that have been put out here it is a gorgeous late summer day moderate temperatures just, it's just a perfect evening for this and uh, wanted to sort of bring you this uh, periscope before it got dark and uh, we would have some bad lighting. But that, that's, that is one of the shots from the movie. There's many more posters. I'll put some on my uh, Twitter in just a few minutes. I took some photographs upstairs. Um, so, please, please feel free. Uh, let's see if... Uh, we have any more? Um, unfortunately, the, this was an invitation-only event. Um, people had to register in advance a bit, so uh, unfortunately, no tickets are available. Um, but the Carmel Institute, that is one of the organizers of these movie screenings, um, is always uh, looking for students and people willing to experience Russian culture. And uh, if you if you get in touch with them, I'm sure they will uh, direct you. To these, I've actually been to a couple of film screenings here before over the years, including some uh, early Soviet-era stuff as well as some more modern things, sort of 
bridging the divide, bringing the continuum together. Um, so that's, I'm just happily just sort of showing you the scenes here. You don't uh, need to, well, sort of see the fluffy clouds and a very cordial atmosphere inside. Let's see if we can pop inside. It for, forgive me if it gets a little noisy. I'm just I'm just gonna pop inside and show you how crowded this place is. And there's actually more people upstairs. So the movie is called Battalion, um, named after the actual well battalion of women who were drafted or volunteered. I believe they volunteered. Uh, yeah. Um, to fight in the Great War, uh, which was uh, just as devastating, probably, in certain ways as as the Second World War was for Russia. Um, this, it's a interesting uh, comparison. Go ahead, please. Um, so, you know, it's a it's a fairly new movie, uh, and hopefully soon there will be English distribution and. Uh, you can see people are lining up to take their picture, get their pictures taken with the uh, with the costumes. And this was, I believe, this would be the official um, movie poster here. Uh, yep, there you go, in the field of red poppies, which are symbolic of that war. Uh, I am not Russian. I am a reporter at RT America. Uh, I, I do speak the language somewhat, but believe me, you don't. You don't want me here to hear. You don't want to hear me speaking it right now. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, but there you go, folks. So, um, a lot of the people inside were um, willing and eager to talk to me, not exactly on camera, uh, mostly because uh, they wanted to make sure they got the f to the food and to the proper seats in the auditorium before they all get snapped up there's as again um, there's there's quite a quite a few people inside here uh, and the embassy has been very gracious to host this this is not the first event they hosted it this is obviously the first showing of this particular film um, I was hoping to speak to the producer who I was uh, told would be here tonight but uh, I have not been able to see him so um, all right let me uh, show you here here's the some of the embassy staff taking their picture so I decided to get out of their shot but there you have it folks this is a just a nice short um, behind the scenes peek at the um, premiere of battalion at the uh, cultural annex of the Russian embassy here in Washington DC I see more people are joining up so uh, let's take another behind the scenes peek here inside um, the uh, the Carmel Institute actually has their sign on the door if I can get that to you hold on a second All right. there we go that's the, there's the proper sign the Carmel Institute of Russian Culture and History College of Arts and Sciences at American University uh, I was there at their inaugural event uh, about a year ago it was uh, very well attended and this is some sort of a behind the scenes look at uh, there you go all right folks pardon the lighting and the and the noise but that's what happens when you put a lot of people in an enclosed space all right we'll go do another oh sorry just you may want to take another shot because I think I just walked into yours. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you are. All right, so uh, one more recap. We're outside of the um, screening, the U.S. premiere screening, I believe, of the Russian, very new Russian uh, film, Battalion, about an all-female unit from World War One, from the Great War. Um, I'm actually ex as excited as everybody to see it because I have not seen it yet and I've heard great things about it. Uh, and I didn't expect this many people to show an interest in Russian cinema and Russian history here in Washington, D.C., but as you can see uh, from the, from, uh, the f 
I shot a few minutes ago. The the great hall is uh, pretty full, and uh, there's more people upstairs. So all of these people are here to um, socialize and watch this, um, by all accounts, amazing um, work of recent Russian cinema. So thank you for uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is your cordial reporter Nabosha Malich reporting from the Russian Embassy here in Washington D.C. Uh, from the premiere of the movie Battalion, featuring an all-female uh, military unit that fought for Russia in World War One. Uh, stay tuned for more of our pod, uh, podcasts, <laughs> periscopes, and other events. Uh, I will post more pictures on Twitter uh, later tonight from the screening. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a lovely evening. It's getting a little dark, so uh, we're going to cut this short at this point. But uh, thanks for being with us. Have a good night.